Hi, everyone. Welcome to Mermaid Radio. You are listening to this week's Universal Energy Reading using the 16 Kauri and the Veve Prophecy Cards. I am Mami Olufunke. This reading is in effect from today, Monday, April 6th through Sunday, April 12th, 2020. Let's get started. The Universal Energy Reading for the Planet this week sees 10 Kauri on the mat and Ezilio Shun Ogun in the Veve Prophecy Cards. Here, Earth Mother, an illness, and possibly dying of this illness, and needs to be prayed for if they're going to survive. And this person happens to be us. All people on the planet are this person that's close to Earth Mother. Not everyone is affected, but everyone needs to pray to survive. So I suggest we pray that our heads can be repaired and so that we can use the strength and coolness of this great deity. And we can practice divine character and use great wisdom so that we can do the right thing for self and others. At this time, that's what's needed. Love, care, honesty, integrity. And then also we need to fulfill our promises that we made in heaven before we came to earth. And so to know all of those things, we're going to do prayer to Obatala On Thursday, which is Obatala's day for me, one of them, we're going to pray. I will perform prayers for Obatala on Facebook Live, on my Facebook page, facebook.com slash mermaid radio, one word. Again, that's facebook.com slash mermaid radio. And for that ritual, you will need to be able to offer a bit of pounded yam and some flour, a small cup of flour, a small bowl of flour with an egg on top. And that is Obatala's offerings for this day, for these prayers for the hum- human being to be restored and repaired about the head. Ashe. The universal energy reading for the people this week sees seven Kauri on the mat and Olodumare Agbao Rune in the Veve Prophecy Cards. This reading is about us as a people working towards our dreams, visions, goals, ideas, really figuring out how we can use them to improve our lives and the lives of others. Where we fail to work on our dreams, goals, and visions, we'll find ourselves left out of the action. We will be out of sorts and feeling like life is being celebrated without us. So do work on your dreams, goals, and visions. If you have a new idea for a cake or a new idea for a Band-Aid or a new idea for how to teach another language, please work on it, write it down, make videos about it, Take notes to yourself and challenge yourself to make this idea concrete. Be ready to show it to the world as soon as possible. Ashe. The universal energy reading for love this week sees nine Kauri on the mat and Ezilio Shun Tambors in the Veve Prophecy cards. Here we see that we have to be very serious and vigilant about setting boundaries. We have to be aggressive about setting boundaries. Staying healthy is our number one priority and make people understand that social distancing is normal for right now. And we're going to not bring anyone home and we're not going to anyone's home. We will stay home and let others do the same. And young people, any kind of sexually active people know that a casual hookup could end disastrously. With the COVID virus out, yes, but there are many other things that were before this. And we do not want to come out of this healthy without COVID ever having touched us, only to find out that we have something else that will diminish the quality of our lives. So please be careful, be patient with your sexuality. Be patient with yourself. If you have a lover, thank God for him or her or him and make the best of this quarantine time. 
Ashe. The universal energy reading for money this week sees a Kauri on the mat and Shango Ezilio Shun in the Veve Prophecy cards. We have to stay cool and carry ourselves in upright character. We have to only use our money for what's good for us. We have we must only use money for what's good for us. Good food, you know, pay our phone bills so we can have good conversations and relationships with people. But where we spend money on debilitating things or using your money to buy sex, that's where we take a chance on hurting ourselves and corrupting our lives, especially where the sex is concerned because you may diminish the quality of your life here again with an STD. So be careful, everyone. Be patient. Use your money for the good of this world, to, for the good of self and people around you. Social distance means no hugging, no kissing, no touching. So stand back, stand firm. And this will pass. This too will pass us and we will come out anew and we will see how and what we can do when that happens. Ah, Shay. The universal energy reading for health and well-being this week sees nine carry on the mat and Ezili Oshun Osayen in the Veve Prophecy cards. So you, we have to stay vigilant about staying healthy. I mean, this is like over and over in this reading. We have to pray into our ancestors to maintain good health. We have to make sure that our ancestors know that this is our top priority at this time. Keep folks out of your home. Please try not to accept gifts from, from people if you don't need it badly. And when you do have to accept gifts, you will have to wash it thoroughly. You will have to really be vigilant. Even if you, somebody, if you need a car, you have to go somewhere, you have to wash it out thoroughly. You have to wipe it down with... Uh, alcohol. You have to spray it down with Lysol. You just have to be careful. You have to wipe off the inside of the windshield. Just try not to have to go anywhere. It'd be best to stay home. Uh, Shay. The universal energy reading for spiritual development sees nine Kauri on the mat and Ezilio Shun Maza in the Veve Prophecy cards. Here it's talking about people competing with one another. And so you have to know that people will use negative magic for relatively petty things this week. It's not going to be easy, us, easy on us. If you know you're getting on someone's nerves, step back, step off, leave them alone so that they don't have to feel inundated with your personality or your attitude or whatever it is you think is so important you have to talk about now. And this goes for especially where there's a competition between people and people are trying to win something or to gain support for something like a sporting event where you would get a trophy or a title, some kind of office or some kind of badge that you might be in competition with another to win. Be cool about it. Be chill. Everybody wants to be seen and heard. Everyone wants to make the room laugh, make everybody comfortable or cordial or even upset for that matter. Don't try to outdo the next person because they will feel slighted and then they want to throw dirt or shade. Either way, it's not going to end well for um, the group or for the two people who are doing it because this year is not a year to throw negative magic. It's not really going to go far from us. So, but still people will want to try. So don't show off and, and don't be too giddy and happy and showing off. It's not going to be good for us this year. Ah, uh, Shay. So this, this week I also did the COVID-19 reading to let people know what's going on with that. And it's more of what I just read in the reading for the week. Nine Kauris fell on the mat and Olodumare Obatala fell in the Veve Prophecy cards. So Nine Kauris is beware of gifts. Anything that comes to your home, anything, mail, parcels, food, clothing, anything at all, you have to be ready to wipe it down, to wash it off with either bleach, Alcohol, vinegar, hydrogen peroxide, and, and this includes everything. 
and you might even want to make a concoction. I would suggest hydrogen peroxide and soap to wipe off your pet when, when they come back in from a walk uh, for dogs and cats, if you can catch the cat, because most cats don't like to be wiped down. So try not to let the cat get outside. But if you have to walk your dog like I do, wipe them down, a little hydrogen peroxide in a little bottle with some dishwashing detergent because you're not going to soak the dog in it. You're just going to wipe off the fur and the feet. And that should help kill whatever germs are on the, on the pet. Foodstuffs and groceries definitely have to be wiped off. It's like life and death with this. It's a protocol that's not been put upon this generation of people. There aren't that many people that were born in 19, well, not born in 1918, but born before and could remember actually the last uh, pandemic situation we had on this planet. So we don't have anyone really to ask about it, but I'm sure they were going through the same thing, washing every fruit and vegetable, every every canned good. So that's what we have to do. We have to be careful and try to cook and eat hot food and hot drinks so that you will kill germs in them anyway. You won't have to worry about it. If you're buying bottles of soda from the store, have your little alcohol pad or your sanitizer and wipe the bottle down before you open it and drink it. Be careful, everyone. I can't stress it enough. I keep repeating myself. So also, Olodumari and Obatala says, heaven is at home. That's where uh, you will, that's where you will be the safest. That's where you will have uh, your things that you can manipulate and work with. You know, whether you have a collection of books that you want to read or a bunch of widgets that you want to put together, whatever it is, it should be in your home. And you have to find peace with it because that's where heaven is. And try to explain to all these young people. I see a lot of young people like in the, between like 27 and 19 or so hanging out, sharing smoked substances and drinks. This is so dangerous, you know, right now. They're not doing the social distancing, still slapping fives and, you know, with the high five or whatever it is that we do now the little handshakes and stuff. Not now. You have to hold off on that, young people. Because you, you, it's not, it'd be one thing if you lived on your own and if you don't mind, you know, taking your chances. That's one thing. But nine times out of 10, you live with somebody. You know, your mama, your grandmama, some young your sisters and brothers, and they might have children. All of you live together in a, in a space. And here you are just out in the street, touching everybody, smoking up with everybody, drinking after people. Not now. Not now. Okay? We have to know that if anyone should get sick because of you, I'm sorry, it's not going to make it right. It's not going to cut it. It's not going to... I'm sorry is not what you want to have to even feel or understand. Right now, we have a, a few more weeks it might even be a few more months. Relax yourself into the strength and good character that you can muster and stay home because that's where your luxury is. That's where your health is. When you're out, wear your mask. It will remind you not to smoke after people. It reminds you not to smoke anyway. Wear your gloves. Keep at least six feet distance between you and your friends. Try not to touch things. Try not to touch your face. And if you have to drink something out in the street, use a sanitizing solution to make it clean so when you drink it, you won't get sick. Please. So if there's a shortage of supplies and, you know, now they're supposed to be making new ones, but how quickly are they going to get there? And we want this uh, disease to stop moving amongst the people. That is the idea of the social distancing. That is the idea of the people staying single and individual at this time so that we can stop this thing. And that is the whole point of the exercise. And we don't want to make it an exercise in futility. We want to make it an exercise that works, that delivers some results. People, stay home when you're out, social distance, no sharing, no hugging, no kissing, no touching. And if you can, if you have nowhere to go, stay home. Look at the four walls. Get very comfortable with them. 
know where the cracks are. Know, you know, and if you need to, if it makes you that stir crazy, take a pen, a marker, anything. Mark the walls. I say now is a good time to get comfortable with your space and make it what you want to see it. Live in your space so you won't hurt yourself and you won't hurt others. I say. This has been Mamiola Funke's Universal Energy Reading. I thank you for joining me this week. I thank my new subscribers. I thank you for joining Mermaid Radio on YouTube to hear this weekly forecast. If you like this information, if you're new out there just tuning in to see what's going on, if you like this information and you find it useful, please like, subscribe, add notifications to know when the next video is available. Have a great week, everyone. Stay healthy. Stay up. Oh, double.